my tea with me. We've had some really wet weather and it's just wonderful. The earth has been drinking, drinking the water of the heavens, filling up little ponds and the wind, it's, it's so mild, it's just so lovely. The last roses are just finishing off here. So, it's really cool to me. So let's see where we can go. Maybe, maybe over here actually. Let's see what, if this is possible. Mm. It might be very, uh, Mm. Let's give it a go. Wait. Cheers. Praise you, Lord. Life is so good. Life is... I feel so grateful today. I felt so tired and uh, lost yesterday. And today it's just like... Uh, this big curtain has just been pushed aside. And... My heart is just singing with joy. I feel so much joy and gratitude. And thank you for being you and being there and for all your beautiful messages. And as you can see, it looks like mm, the Lord wants me to, to do these Sunday shining videos and not so much of the pract practical it just seems like uh, things are changing and I feel very much my focus is on the inner, the inner world and our inner state of being. So this is what I'm being guided to share. And uh, yeah, so whoever, <laughs> whoever wishes to hear about it, you're very welcome. Um, I d oh, I just love how life changes and how the whole idea of being open-minded uh, invite change. Life can be lived in so many ways. It's there's no limit. And and uh, yeah, just seeing yourself as a being in great change. And that's what some of these amazing channelings are saying. I don't know if it's true. But um, uh, until these last months uh, of this year, uh, there's going to be great change. And we are, we are changing incredibly, very, very powerfully. So if you feel uh, very exhausted and you need to sleep a lot and you feel everything is just really strange, <laughs> I know how you feel. And that is must be part of the change. If you believe in it, I mean... Uh, whatever feels true for you, but I, I sense it's very true. That we're going through massive, we're going through massive uh, change, and and everything is just going to become more and more beautiful and more and more heavenly like. Um, so um, it's really a, a wonderful challenge for me to 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 see what is it the Lord wants me to share, what, what is it my higher self, what, what, or your higher self, what, is, uh, what wants to come out of my being, of my mouth, <laughs> on these videos for the Sunday Shining. And um, I just sort of let it come and there's things that are coming now so, um, um, 
Yeah, many things. I think I'll just get a, a more comfortable position. So let's move. if the sheep wants to join in. So it's uh, real dark in here. We'll just see how, how we go. In the stable, our Lord was born. Not our Lord, Jesus was born. Mm. Okay, so uh, this is more comfortable for me. So, uh, what I first want to share with you is about cultivating joy. And uh, what I said in the last video, you are creating your life, you are creating the world that we live in, and so am I. With every thought, every idea, everything you pursue, the whole inner reality that you are creating, because that's what you're doing, your inner reality you are creating is manifesting in the outer world. And what I felt so strongly today I was told to cultivate the joy and the thing is the joy uh, of the Lord, the, the, the joy of all of creation, that enormous, endless joy is, is already in you. It's there, it's alive and it's an, it's an ocean within you and the only way you can, you can bring it uh, into uh, to let it fill you is by your awareness. So your awareness is like a magnifying glass and there in our hearts there's sorrow, there's uh, anger, there's all these different things, worry, it's all part of being human. And then there's, there's the divine part of us does not have those heavy things, it has joy and all these uh, divine qualities. Uh, and with our awareness, when we wake up in the morning, when we go searching in our inner world and sense where's the, where's the joy, and you bring your awareness to it, it will grow instantaneously. And feeling the joy, feeling the gratitude for life exactly as it is right where you are, will manifest right around you. So when you look out the window, although it's you can have a look what it looks like here where I'm sitting. It's real autumn -y. Ah, it's beautiful. Uh, it will manifest. It will manifest around you. Just get some better light here. Uh, and, and, and it's this is this just so important to realize that this is really uh, this is where our power is and this is what is creating really everything for us so when we have this focus on the joy and the gratitude it grows within us it fills us and it really lifts our vibration we feel we feel amazing <laughs> you feel really amazing and and you are you, it, it manifests around you and everyone is affected by it so we, we, we have this immense power and uh, this can also help us to see the responsibility we have every time we feel low and feel hopeless or we have these negative feelings uh, to realize what we're doing because it's very powerful how we it's impacting the world we create bad things with our bad bad attitude we're creating it all around us so we have enormous power and we have enormous responsibility and what I also also want to share is to that 
uh, as I mentioned in the last video, about, about how we are in heaven already and how everything is really beautiful and wonderful. Uh, we, we, when we realize this, of course, it's an enormous breakthrough in our life. But after a little while, the low feelings come back. They don't, for the most of us, they don't disappear completely. And why do, do they not disappear? Because there's still healing that needs to be done. As I showed in that video where I, where I started crying, I was talking about my relationship to my mother. There's still healing that needs to be done. So when the, the negative emotions, so-called negative, you can say the painful emotions, they appear, don't push them away because they're just coming to be released. That's all. So, and, and every time we, we release these old emotions, we're lifting the planet. We're, we're, <coughs> we're simply doing the best we can, we can do. Um, so the, the, it all comes in waves. So we, like today I feel this enormous joy and I feel really, really powerful and really, really blessed. And yesterday I felt very, very different. And what I felt I was being told and shown is that it, it was because I embraced that day. It was difficult for me to embrace it because it just felt, I just felt so tired. <laughs> it's just, uh, it just felt so strange. But I knew deep down it's very important that I embrace this. Just embrace how I feel and, and trust that uh, this is just part of all the change that we're going through. So, uh, whatever comes, embrace it. And I want to just go on to, to talking about just how, how much I share about my private life. And uh, I want to be really honest. And, and the thing is, this is not a show, uh, a channel where it's a show about my life and you get, get all the details. It's just not meant to be. Uh, and I do share a lot uh, about how I feel um, I have been treated or how people have been around me and um, there is this whole privacy thing that you shouldn't share uh, there's just things you don't share about your your very close relationships and what I feel is that in some way it's true for me to do that and I just want to say I love, not to say that I'm good in any way, I have deep love for all my family and I know that uh, we really all have deep love for each other. Uh, but by me telling you what I'm going through, and what I have felt was difficult, um, I just have a feeling that this is, uh, this is useful for you. Um, so it's just to say that nobody in my life is the baddie or I don't blame anyone for anything. I know that my mother and father did their very, very best and I love them with all my heart. There's no, uh, I don't wish I had other parents or yeah, whoever is in my family. I love them all. Um, so it's, uh, it's an opportunity to just uh, see how a woman like me is experiencing life and how I feel that everything is is teaching me something and that there's always I'm in a learning process and there's always more to learn um, so yeah so um, yeah how about we uh, yeah oh, see yeah. How about we uh, we do a little breathing as we did last time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is why we're looking at this beautiful feet. Let's just take a moment to breathe. 
this beautiful wind that we can hear and see in nature. Just allow the breath to come into our belly. Sense the coolness in our in our nose, in our mouth. And just sense how every time we breathe, we relax more. Just relax. And bring your attention to your heart. Also to your feet. Imagine how this golden light from our body, from our heart, goes from our feet and all the way into the earth. We're deeply connected with Mother Earth. Every cell of our being, all our bodies are connected to the earth. And focus on your heart and just feel the softness and the gentleness and the depth of your heart. And whatever you're feeling, whether it's sadness or joy or whatever it is, just allow it to be there. It's very noisy. Maybe it just turn it off. You're a film star now. <coughs> no, she doesn't want to be a film star. Okay, so just say a prayer. I'll just say a prayer. While we're relaxing and just feeling this beautiful energy and light within us, we'll say a prayer. Dear Mighty Lord, dear Holy Father, Mother God, thank you for this very moment. Thank you for each and every one of us who are watching this film. Thank you that we are all your beloved children. And that you and your kingdom of light is within us. And thank you that we are in your kingdom. Help us to be who we are. Help us to let go of anything that is holding us back from just being who we are and expressing what we feel, feeling what we feel, saying what we wish to say. Help us free ourselves to just be. And I thank you for this day, for this Sunday. I ask for blessings over all the earth all people, all the earth, every animal, every plant, the ocean, the soil, the sky, every rock, every grain of sand. Blessed are you, and thank you for the angels and for the beings of light around us, helping us to live and be here, to be in our bodies, be in our lives. Thank you that they are guiding us to be more and more honest and truly who we are. Thank you for our connection on this little channel. Thank you for the love we share to each other. And help us shine the light that you are in us, more and more. Amen. Um. 
Okay, so let's let's go on. It's not the best place. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's not important. Okay, so what I wanted to share also, I've got a few things written down here, is uh, becoming the lover. It's just so funny when you go onto the internet and you, there's these different um, ads, advertisements for uh, different spiritual things you can do, different uh, systems that you can become a part of. Uh, and you see these people who are promoting it, how in a way I, I I just sense that they haven't really found the jewel and and what they often what what they're trying to say is that they've found they think they have found the, the jewel and that their life because their life has become so sex successful and they are they have such abundance uh, many people who are actually on the spiritual path will say oh I was so lost and I had no money and then I started doing this and this and this and now I'm a millionaire <laughs> and I sort of think to myself a millionaire uh, I, do you use that uh, for uh, an indication that you are on the right path um, and just like everything in life spirituality can also catch you so you're still not on your path to awaken and what they're signaling, signaling these people is that if you do what I do, uh, you're going to be beautiful, you're going to be good looking, you're going to be strong, you're going to be healthy, you're going to have all the things, all the things you want. You're going to have all the things you want. And it just really made me, made me think, that's not what I want. <laughs> I don't want all the things I want. And what do I want? I want to be a lover of life. I want to love. So, um, and that is, <clears throat> if I'm to imagine someone who's very attractive to me, it would be someone who has become their, their most loving being. And what does that look like? Is he good looking? Not necessarily. Is he rich? Mm, probably not. <laughs> does he have a big car? No, probably not. He might. But what he has is love for what is. He's at peace with life exactly as it is. Right here and right now, in this moment, and in every moment. And whoever he meets on his path, get to bathe in that love that he's feeling. That's, that's, <laughs> if somebody was to um, do any advertising, that, that's what I would be drawn to. And I'm sure he wouldn't say, listen, all you have to do is this and this and this and this and this and you'll get it. Because that there is no, no such recipe. It's all different for all of us to find this, to become this lover. It's, uh, if I was to say, what, what do you do? You allow yourself to be, and you start practicing loving what is every single moment. Your tiredness, your aches and pains, your irritating neighbor, whatever, you just start loving it. And as you do that, this grows. And that's it. So there can be things that you must do and you must, you need to change in your life, but by, by loving, by feeling the love for what is, you will very quickly get messages very clearly on to whatever you need to do, change your diet, uh, change things in your life, do something differently. But uh, 
as we see more and more, it's not so much what you do on a physical level. It does affect your life, of course, but your state of being and your you making peace with what is, that is the power. And last, last week I said the most powerful is to, to, to love God. And it really is the same thing, just said in a different way. This is more feeling peace and not so much loving, but uh, so you're feeling peace with what is and what is, is God. God is unfolding himself everywhere around you and within you. And if you decide to love that, you are at peace with all of it. So beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just so beautiful. Uh, and the, the one I mentioned last time, the fruits. The tree shall be known by its fruits. You see, people who have found uh, this jewel, the, the deepest of the deepest, the greatest of the greatest, they emanate peace. And they don't have a fixed recipe. It's, it's all peaceful and loving and completely alive. So, so that is, um, that is a fantastic, uh, indication that when you, when you see someone who emanates the peace, uh, you know they're on, they're on the path of the soul because our soul is pure peace. So beautiful. And so the sentence, keep it simple, sweetheart, uh, it can sound so abstract, loving everything as it is, and also sound quite uh, impassive or I I inactive. But the little sentence, keep it simple, sweetheart, fits it so well. Because all you really, all you really have to do to, to be living in the kingdom of God all the time is to is to let go and love what is stop uh, stop fighting life stop wishing and the whole thing of uh, asking yourself oh what do I want because that's <laughs> I saw another one another person who made it, written a book that became very fi famous and his he has this whole system of figure out what you want okay I want this I want I want a big car I want a big house I want <laughs> he went like this and I really believe to sit and ask yourself what you want. Do you really know what you want? Do you really want that big house? I don't want the big. I mean, <laughs> I think when you ask deep enough, that's not what that's not what you want. And in a way, I feel it's going the wrong way to ask yourself what do I want. Instead, maybe ask what can I love that I have not been able to love. Who can I love more? How can I love more? Uh, and that's all you really have to work at. And whatever you need will be given to you. So as it also says uh, in the Bible, Jesus says to us, uh, search for God's, for the heaven, for the kingdom of God, and everything will be given to you. And that's what happens. We, we will be given everything we need. So it's just so beautiful. Let's just see if there's more here. Um, Yeah, I think I'll end off. We're going to have a Gabriel message in a second. Um, the whole thing of holding space for others. Uh, I found with in my relationship with my husband, uh, I've shared a lot about this, and um, I feel I feel I've learned so much. 
And what I can just share here is that, um, you know, I moved upstairs because things were really not working. <laughs> I moved upstairs and for long periods we've had more or less no contact. But I can see now that this was actually the medicine we needed. Because for many of us, because our childhood was so uh, disturbed and we were very disconnected from our true self, uh, being with people can actually be very stressful and you you get lost in all the everything going on around you. So what I can see for us is that, that being alone a lot, allowed, giving ourselves each other this space to be alone has been very, very healing and very, very fruitful. So things, yeah. And so having the space to be in your, being in your own space, that's one thing I wanted to share here, but also to hold space for others, which is, as you feel you grow, uh, you will come to a plateau, because we, we, we grow in these, uh, sort of we do a lot of growth and then we come to a plateau. And when you reach a plateau, you will sense how you can, you can support others. And you might not even be in contact with them or talk to them, but just sending your love, sending peace to them, see them enjoy, see them uh, just living a beautiful life, whatever. But also can just be listening to them. Uh, this is what gets to happen more and more. You sense that you don't really have to do anything much. And that one of your duties is to start to hold space for more and more people. Because we are awakening, there's no doubt. And it's, uh, this is so beautiful. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of things I shared here. And we'll go and, and uh, read a Gabriel message. It's very interesting. Uh -huh. it's very interesting. And Lucy says goodbye. So this is the Gabriel message number 23. And it's called, All the money I give is blessed and returned to me multiplied. Dear one, you have been given limitless resources to use in your earth life. These limitless resources include wondrous beauty, relationships that affirm the divinity within you, freedom to be the best you can be, and an abundant flow of money. This flow of money is sometimes the most difficult of God's gifts for you to see in your life. You stand in the midst of this energy which can be used to make your life more comfortable and yet many times your ability to receive these resources is limited by your thoughts and by your resistance to receiving. This energy from the divine source which is called money has the same properties inherent in it that any of God's gifts have, such as love and joy. It is the strong energy of life force which you can tap into in order to receive the blessings of abundant cash flow. One easy way to make yourself more available to money is by creating thoughts of unlimited resources in your mind. Your thoughts create your reality. When you entertain thoughts of lack, of not enough in your life, this translates in your world as not enough money to meet your needs. There must be a shift in your thinking before you can attract an abundant level of income to yourself. One way to change your consciousness is by affirmations. We have given you a very powerful affirmation to say every day and especially every time you write checks or spend money even if it is only pennies. This affirmation is All the money I give is blessed and returned to me multiplied. 
When you bless anything, your friends, children, life partners, jobs, etc., the inherent good within is increased. Blessing leads to an increase in energy. So when you bless all the money you spend, you increase the energy it carries into the world. You have heard the expression, what goes around comes around. This is a basic principle. What you give is what you receive. When you give blessings, you receive blessings. When you give out of fear of lack, you receive back what you fear. Lack of abundant income. Fear is a very powerful force that can attract to you what you fear most. Love and blessings are even more powerful and can bring to you that which is blessed with love. Remember that God is the source of your supply and there are no shortages. This inexhaustible resource of spirit is equal to every need you may have. Many people come to the ocean of abundance with only a teaspoon when they could bring a bucket or a much larger vessel. You can consciously choose to expand your ability to receive and to enlarge your own container. One way to do this is through prayers of gratitude and blessings for what you already have and what you will receive. These prayers will help to lift your consciousness and bring you to a place where you can affirm the truth that you are one with abundant life and with the abundant flow of money and prosperity in the world. Blessing all the money you give is another way to do this. God's abundance exists everywhere and you can move into the stream of consciousness that allows you to have all your needs met when you develop the attitude of gratitude, blessing and affirming the divine truth of abundance within all things. So begin now to bless that which you have and bless those you love. Lift yourself up so you can begin to see that which is good in your life and remember your message from the angels today. All the money I give is blessed and returned to me multiplied. So let's do our card. They're called Life Angel Cards. Joy. So that was the word for today. And we're in this video now and I just wish you all a really good connection with yourself allowing yourself to be you feeling how peace and love fills you and whatever comes let it come yeah so thank you and I'll see you next week if the Lord wants it take care Bye.